This is the boys, 13, 14, 400 IM. Lane number one is Stefan Keller, Neptune. Lane two from Palo Alto, Dachi Matsuda. Lane three, John Cordwright, Nova, Virginia. Lane four, your leader from this morning, Jerome Sun, Mission San Jose. Lane five, Aiden Burns, Santa Clara. Lane six, Michael Messner, Sunnyvale. Lane seven, Max Bryant from Aspen Swim Club. And in lane number eight from the Flying Fish, up there at the top of your screen, is Anthony Young. Jerome's son with a huge pause at the front of his butterfly, really trying to conserve some energy. And, you know, that is that is a good way to conserve energy, Tiffany. But a coach, uh, I guess it was back in December, Chuck Batchelor of the Bluefish out on the East Coast, made a point to me that I'll never forget. And, you know, you think that you're conserving energy at, by having that glide on the front end. But really, once your body is in motion, it's easier when it stays in motion. So to slow down like that on the front end may actually be making it harder on your body. Nevertheless, Jerome Sun out with the fastest butterfly split in 56-3-0. I agree. And uh, as a coach, you definitely want to discourage that because that stop and momentum, you are – really starting to fight the water and as a butterfly you're always looking for that easy speed so I had coaches always telling me to constantly you know keep your arms going so he definitely was using that glide but nonetheless out in a very fast split that we've seen so far doing some damage here in the backstroke leg he is now about a body length lead over lane number three that's John Courtright yeah so it's just you know, we talked about different strokes for different swimmers earlier, so there's different preferences and different coaches teach a different technique, but I just thought that really stood out because I was definitely the type of butterflyer who, when we were trying to get through a fly set in practice, I would use that glide thinking that I was conserving some energy, but when he pointed out that a body in motion is easier to stay in motion, I, I kind of thought about it for a second, and it does make a lot of sense. Well, at Jerome is under two minutes at the halfway mark, 159.3, so a great split here. Once again, he was a 4.15.7 this morning, so we'll see how much he can get under that mark. But we have a great race going on for second. John Courtright in three, Aiden Burns in five, and moving into a great breaststroke in lane number six is Michael Messinger, who might be in the second-place position here after 50 yards through this 100 breaststroke leg. Courtright, though, might be reeling in Jerome Sun, as is lane number six. Like you said, Michael Messner. Sun still with a pretty good lead. He had such a great backstroke leg, but his cushion is getting ever so smaller here as they transition through this whole breaststroke leg. He has Messner putting together a great breaststroke leg here. We'll see what he's got in the freestyle. He's only about a body length behind Jerome Sun now out in front, who's looking to add another title here to his list. Messner almost to the heels of Jerome Sun here as we're about to enter into the final 100 yards. Is it going to be enough to run down Jerome Sun though? He's put himself back in the race as, a, as is Michael Messner, but is it enough room to run down Jerome Sun, who I believe was one of your top three finishers in the 200 freestyle on day number one? So a very strong freestyler. And with 75 yards to go, Jerome Sun definitely looks in control. Now we saw our 11 and 12 boys do it. I don't think Messner is going to have enough yardage here to catch your leader out front. But nonetheless, what a great swim that was. Messner was a 4.18.2 this morning, so he's going to be well under that mark. 340.8 for Jerome with 50 yards left to go. So. I anticipate he's going to be under that 410 mark or right on it. So that'll be a good 7 to 10 second drop here for Jerome Sun. Yeah, he should be well under that 410 mark as Jerome Sun now powering through the final 10 yards. He'll stop the clock at 40871, followed by Michael Messner, who stops the clock at 41031. Great drops for those boys from this morning's swims. Getting in for the third place touch, Aiden Burns with a 4. 14.03. So that concludes the 400 individual medleys. And now we're going to hop into some 100 IMs. I bet, um, I bet.